All right, it's been a while since I've done a character creation video, and I'm excited about this one because this is very possible. Since we do have Reshram, Zekrom, and Kiram in the game, when they do want to go back to the Gen 5 games for Legendary Pokemon, they could possibly dip into the fusions of uh, Zekrom, Reshram, and Kiram, which will be freaking awesome, and I hope they do that eventually, um, or soon. I'd want them to do it soon. Uh, but we're going to start off with Black Kiram, and uh, when they do come to Pokemon Masters, I personally, I expect them to come as a Master Fair, uh, just like what they did with Groudon and Kyogre, uh, because like when you look at these guys, Black Kiram and White Kiram, they honestly, they just scream Master Fair in my personal opinion. Who will have Black Kiram and White Kiram? I honestly don't know. Uh, one of them could possibly be Getsis. Uh, my thinking and then the other could be n maybe like we could have a master fair n again um or we could have um another uh character with uh either or so like i don't know you guys can let me know what who you'd like to see with black kiram and white kiram as a master fair because that's honestly what i think will happen like there'll be a master fair but uh, let's just get with what kiram has or black kiram in uh the mood set and uh, everything for the main series games so, he is a Dragon Ice type, of course, because it is still technically Kiram, but with uh, Zekrom fused to Kiram. Um, and when we scroll down to his stats over here, he is a physical attacker, while White Kiram is going to be a special attacker, because like, they're the counterparts. Uh, so, we can see his base attack going to be at 170, but when it's completely maxed out, it's at 482. So, when he does come to Pokemon Masters, he is... 100% going to be a physical striker in the game uh, and then when we look at his speed it's not too fast either but it's not too slow uh, but it's going to be like relatively good with the speed like it's not going to be insanely slow uh, just because the legendaries typically have pretty solid stats all around anyways uh, so when he does come to Pokemon Masters his speed won't be terrible either but it's just not going to be good as well so it's going to be in the middle um, and that's for his defense like it's just Eh, it's okay like nothing too good like more so of a glass cannon i would say uh not like a very vulnerable glass cannon like it could probably take like a couple of hits but that's about it uh but like still being a legendary the stats are going to be solid all around of course but uh when he does come to pokemon masters physical striker and i honestly would want him to be an ice type by the way uh, a, 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 like an ice striker uh because when he does come to the game and he does get the Ice Striker uh, tag on him, he's going to be the best one in the game for the Ice Type category. And uh, we still need an insanely OP Ice Type Striker. Because um, right now, currently, I don't think there is an OP Ice Striker. Um, like, we do have other Ice Types now, of course, which is good, which I'm happy about, because uh, options are always good. But, um, yeah, we need... Black Hiram to be an insane ice type striker. Uh, but when we look down at his move pool, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Like, he has Ancient Power, um, which is a special attacking move, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, but for the physical attacking moves, he has Slash, uh, Endeavor, um, Outrage. But then when you go down a little bit more, is that for Hiram? Yeah, okay, that's for Hiram. Let's go to Black Hiram. So, uh, then he adds another physical attack and move, which is Free Shock, which is actually their signature move, uh, Black Kiram's signature move, Free Shock, and it's not bad, it's actually a really good move, it's 140 base power, but the only thing that sucks about Free Shock, it, you have to wait two turns in order to use it, but that's in the main series game, so who knows what's gonna happen when it comes to Pokemon Masters, are they gonna ignore this two turn effect, which I kinda hope they do. Uh, because I think they've done that in the game before already, where they have it in the greater passive where it just bypasses the two-turn wait, and then you can just use it right away. So, like, they could do something like that, of course, uh, to make it more fun. Because, let's be honest, it's annoying having to wait two turns and attacking when you could just use it two turns in a row and do even more damage. But I guess for balancing sake, they did that. But, who, again, it's Pokemon Master, they could just ignore that completely. Um, sure code doesn't matter either just because like it's a special attacking move But if it does hit even if you're a physical attacker, it's just, it's gonna one hit KO them anyway, so um, When we go down to his moves that he can learn on TM like he does have a wide variety of moves Like he can learn rock slide, which will be an AOE rock type But we do have a lot of rock types now that are really good. So hopefully he doesn't get that 
He has Icy Wind, um, Rock Tomb, Ice Ghost Fear, Payback, Shadow Claw, uh, Brutal Swing, and Breaking Swipe. Breaking Swipe is the one that I'd expect him to have because it would be an AoE Dragon type. And uh, that would be really good for him to have because his signature move is an Ice type. So then another typing would be nice. So Breaking Swipe. And that would help a lot with it being an AoE, of course. But uh there is a lot that they could do like his moveset is pretty solid all around like there's a lot of uh, physical moves that they can do because when you have the signature move already in they could literally pick anything else so they could go with hyper beam or a uh, hyper voice and uh, turn that as uh, a dragon shift or an ice shift so that it goes as uh, an ice type or a dragon type whichever um they could do that um, or they can like just randomly decide to just give it fly for some reason like like when you have the signature move They could just do anything else like they could maybe go for three moves for Kirim like it, it could they could do anything honestly, but Breaking swipe and free shock are the moves that I picked for him because that's what I personally think might happen but uh, there's a lot that they could do and uh, if you have any ideas on what black Kirim could possibly have in the game as well when he does come Leave your comments down below because we are going into the notes and we're going to be talking about the uh, stats and everything that I have built for Black Kyrim. So I'll see you guys in one sec. Alright, so for Black Kyrim, I have him paired up with Getsis. Um, that's honestly what I think might happen. But there's other candidates, of course, like maybe N or you could have like Hilda with uh, Hilbert. I, Hilbert, I think it is? Hilbert? I, I think so. Like, my mind is just <laughs> not there right now, but... Uh, there is other people that can or other trainers that uh, that can possibly get black Kyrim or white Kyrim as well But uh, this is what I have paired up with black Kyrim and I have him as an ice type striker And for move one he's gonna have free shock and it's a 140 base power move and again like it is a two-turn move but I think they're gonna take it out so that we can just use free shock as uh, as we will um, but who knows uh, and then for move two, we have Breaking Swipe, AoE Dragon Type, 60 base power. Move three, we have X Attack. And then move four, we have the Trainer Move. And it raises the crit chance by three. And the next attack freezes the enemy for four turns. So it's basically a guaranteed freeze on the enemy. So with him having Breaking Swipe, it doesn't specify on uh, what, like, what attack you have to use in order to freeze. So it's guaranteed whichever attack. So... With Breaking Swipe being AoE, you could use a training move and then you could freeze everyone for four turns and you could just go four attacks without having to worry about getting attacked, which would be good. Uh, so I think that would be really cool. Uh, maybe it might be a little bit broken depending because when they're about to use your sync move uh, or when they're about to use their sync move, you could literally just go for the training move, stop them from uh, using the sync move, and then you could just constantly attack and then just knock them out that way too. Like there is, I think it might be a little bit broken, but at the same time, I think it would be cool because it's something a little bit different as well. And uh, for passive one, we have free shock, which is a new ability that I came up with. Um, and then it has a 50% chance to either paralyze or freeze the attacked enemy. So when you attack them, you have a 50% chance of it either being uh, paralyzed or freeze. Obviously, freeze being the better one, I would say. Um, but it's a chance. So like, obviously, if you don't get freeze and you did break and swipe, then you could maybe paralyze two of them. And then the third target is uh, frozen. So like you could do that. But when they become paralyzed, you can't really get rid of it unless they do themselves. Um, so I think per, uh, freeze would be the better one. Uh, and then for passive two, we have critical strike three. And then for passive three, we have defense crush six. So a lot of the times, like when you go for breaking swipe, you could lower the defense of all the enemy, all three of them. And then you could just use uh, free shock constantly and just do a bunch of damage because you lower their defense quite a bit um is it a little bit overpowered i think so but at the same time it's black kirim uh a fusion of zekrom and kirim so i think it would be uh, pretty fitting for them uh to just desecrate everything that they touch <laughs> so like imagine having that like defense crush and then free shock where you constantly freeze them and uh, as you're freezing them or paralyzing them, you're also lowering their defense so that you can do a bunch of damage when they're frozen as well and can't attack. So I think that would be a little bit broken, but why not have fun with some of these broken sync pairs? Because you're not, it's not player versus player. So at the end of the day, like it's not really game breaking because they could just up the difficulty on all these events. 
and problem solved. If this player was player, then yeah, this would 100% be insanely broken. Uh, for the HP, I have it at 647. Physical attack 465, physical defense 150, special attack 250, and special defense 150 as well. And then for the speed, I have it at 300, and this is at 1 out of 20. And then when we scroll down a little bit more, I have the stats for 20 out of 20 when you do get them to 6 stars. Uh, their HP is going to then turn into 687, physical attack 505. Physical defense 190, special attack 290, special defense 190, and then the speed turns to 340. Um, I think the stats are, might be a little bit too high for the physical, but at the end of the day, if it is a master fair, then this is fine, honestly. Um, and then with having 505 physical defense or physical attack, along with defense crush 6, critical strike. Uh, and then free shock as their ability, and then having an AOE, and then uh, that free shock uh, uh, base power of 140. I just realized that I named their passive what their move is. <laughs> I just realized that now. Uh, I, I like the name anyways. Like I think it makes sense for what the ability is or the passive description. So it is what it is, whatever. <laughs> I like that. Um, but yeah, so this is what I have for Black Kiram. Um, I think it would be a lot of fun to have in the game. Uh, there is just so much that they can do with White Kiram and Black Kiram. They can introduce a new mechanic where if you would have uh, Rush Ram and Kiram on the same team in battle, then you could just activate uh, the mechanic and they could transform into White Kiram. But then at the cost of that, then you only have two sync birds. So like if you have Rush Ram there to be like the tech type and lower the enemy's like attack and special attack, uh, then when you fuse, then you lose that. And then uh, you gain all that offense ability uh, by turning into White Kiram. So like there is consequences or, or like pros and cons when you do that, I guess. But that's part of the fun, having a new mechanic, playing around with it, uh, seeing what's good, what's not good, uh, and just playing with your favorite characters, Pokemon. Like I think that would be a lot of fun, having a transformation mechanic uh, where Pokemon could actually fuse together, like the ones that actually can, like in this case, Black Kiram, White Kiram, uh, and then other Pokemon that can fuse together, uh, who is it, uh, Necrozma and Socalio or Lunala as well, like, they have the fusion mechanic, like, I think that would be fun to have, because it would be limited to certain Pokemon, so it's not like, uh, Dragon Ball, where you can transform or fuse with every other character, so that would make it too complex, but, like, with Pokemon, there's limited characters that can actually fuse together, so I think it would work if they do it right, but if not, then of course, like they could just give us the Pokemon uh, that's already fused, and then we just have fun with that. Uh, I think it would be fun to have Black Kiram come as a shiny as well, personally, because like if we look at the pictures for shiny Black Kiram, like this is how he looks when he's shiny, and then this is how he looks when he's not shiny. Like the the shiny just looks freaking sick. Like you have that lime green aura uh, tubes coming out of his tail, uh, going to his back and everything, where it would be blue. Uh, if it was regular Kiram or, or uh, Black Kiram, but uh, Shiny is like green. And then that little horn on the head is like purple pink. Like it looks really, really cool. Um, so like if they were to bring Black Kiram, I definitely wouldn't mind if it was a Shiny because it does look really, really cool. Uh, but even if they bring him as a, just a regular uh, non-Shiny Black Kiram, like I'm so cool with that too because blue is my favorite color and just seeing that would just be sick as well. But I don't know, I, like I kind of want Shiny to come back uh, and they're, they definitely do have plans to introduce more Sync Pairs, summonable Sync Pairs as a Shiny because we saw that with uh, Rayquaza and Steven during the two year anniversary. So. It's possible, it's possible, but let me know what you guys think of Black Kiram in uh, Pokemon Masters. Uh, let me know your build that you would like to have um, for Black Kiram, like what kind of stuff do you think he might have. Let me know everything you guys think will have uh, Black Kiram, uh, or what he'll have when he does come to the game. Do you think he will, uh, they will get rid of the two turn restriction for Free Shock or, they, uh, um, or they'll keep it? Let me know all that down in the comments below. That'll be it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed because I do love making these character content videos like coming up with a kit for all these Pokemon. It's a lot of fun. So let me know if you guys enjoy these. If you want me to bring them back again. Uh, leave that all down in the comments below. That'll be it and I'll see you guys later.